and see. Yeah, hi all and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all fine. <laughs> yeah, today with NC Junior. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good? <laughs> okay, uh, we got here a PlayStation, which is uh, from a friend of my daughter. And um, this guy, uh, yeah, told uh, that the PlayStation is running hot. So the fan was running uh, very fast. And he had another friend which told him, yeah, yeah, I'm the big boss, I know what I'm doing, and uh, this is what happens. <laughs> so, <laughs> Nelson, uh, what is broken here? Huh? This, yeah? This kaput? Yeah? <laughs> Whoa, where is broken? <gasps> yeah. Oh my god, look. This is kaput, yeah? That's broken here. Tu mal da hin. Guck mal, das kommt normalerweise so hin, yeah? Kaput. Warum? Irgendjemand hat gerissen. Hat es bestimmt weggerissen, gell? Mit voller Gewalt. So, yeah, guys. Someone here just took it apart and uh, he had just forget um, to take off this cable here and then it just, yeah, take it off really <laughs> powerful. You can also see here this cable is just damaged. So, uh, the guy told me uh, no, yeah, Wi-Fi, uh, the controller is not working like it should work, so here is just all totally broken because these are the, uh, the antennas. And I just want to fix this with you together, guys, because um, in first case, uh, this is a PlayStation 4 Slim, which is just missing on my channel. But yeah, you know, normally not all has the PlayStation 4 Slim, so for me it's great because I'm going to get this also on my YouTube channel. And I'm going to show you how you can fix it easily. The only thing that you need is something like that. So if you have a PlayStation 3 at home, a PlayStation 3 Slim Edition, you're going to be able to take this off from the case. So here we have two antennas. The one is with a white cable and the other one is with a black cable. And here you can also see that we're going to be able just to desolder it here. Yeah. And then we're going to just solder it back here. So the only thing that you need to know is that this one here is a little bit short, of course. So we need to cut it a little bit shorter and this one here I will need to take it off uh, yeah, because it gets till here. So that means I need really to take all this cable off and we're gonna take a look how it looks here inside. So here you have some clips and you need really first to bend them back, see that here, and then we're gonna be able to take it off. So Nelson, come help. Here, look, you make so. Here, yeah, so, up, good, and here, so, <laughs> look here, da. so, mm. yeah, da. so, that's on Junior repairing some stuff, yep, und nach oben, bisschen, so, oder hier, guck, nimm den Schraubenzieher, Und dann machst du so ein bisschen, guck, so. Probier mal. Ja, look, gut. Na, mach mal. Gut, fertig. That's nice. So, we got it here. Then, here. And, ja, so. Tada, finish. So, this is now off here. And we can take just this all the way. Here you need also to take care because it's also some clips and let me take a look. Yeah, so this should be easy to take off. One and always easy. Go here with the fingernail and here we go. Okay, so now we got also the black one so we can also take a look how long it is. So this should be enough, because you can see this one is really longer, it goes from here till there. So um, this one I'm gonna just let it, because I think this should be nearly the same length. So I'm gonna now get my smartphone on the tripod, and then we're gonna just begin to work here. So yeah, before I begin, uh, the thing you should know is that this kind of cables here, they have always two contacts. So um, you got here, you can see where is solder it, there is a contact, and then there you have the second contact. The same you have on the end of the cable. You can take a look here. You really see, you got here a contact, so this is this one here, see that? 
in this, uh, let's say, kind of transparent tube. And uh, then you have all these cables here. See that? So this is the second contact. And you need always to solder the yeah first one and the second because it always have two contacts. Uh, in this case, if you look back, uh, this one here is broken because you can see here. Uh, wait, let me just zoom a little bit. So you can see here the contacts are all just destroyed. See that? So if if you just move the cable away, you can see they are just destroyed. That's why he also probably have no internet or no Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi antenna. See that? Just broken. Because they are just here moving around and they break the first contact. So the second one is still soldered, but the cables here on the second contact, they are all just gone. See? So let me not just hold the end from the other cable on here. And you can see you showed it should be like that. So this cable here, where I show you on my finger, so this one's here, the smally ones, the tiny ones, the smally ones, <laughs> smally, uh, yeah, <laughs> this should be soldered there, and then the second contact, which is this one here on the transparent tube, needs to be soldered there, and that's why you got, let's say, here a contact, and then you got also a second one. But the same is also um, on the PlayStation 3 Wi-Fi antenna. Um, you can also see there, yeah, this one is really nice soldered, see that? So here, still there, nothing broke. Let me take a closer look, maybe you're going to be able to see that. But I, I already can see the cables, they're really so small and they are still there. If you just move this cable too much, you're going to break it, of course. And that's the problem uh, why some people doesn't have, let's say, a connection to the controller or let's say... Um, yeah, internet or whatever, okay, because this is the problem here, okay, so one antenna mostly is always for, let's say, the Bluetooth, uh, the other antenna, in this case, when you have two antennas on the PlayStation Slim, or let's say on the PlayStation 3 Slim Edition, one is for the Bluetooth and one is for the Wi-Fi antenna, okay, so, yeah, I'm gonna now just do that all, and then I'm gonna, uh, yeah, tell you a little bit more about that stuff, so, uh, we need really to do this one here and then uh, here the second one because they are all boot, let's say, uh, they are boot broken and uh, let's take a look as on this antenna, here you can see they're still all, in, all okay, see that? It should look like that, nice and sexy. Okay, so this is the other one from the black one, okay. You probably could also just um, cut it here away and solder just the rest, so maybe I'm going to do that too, because um, for the people that don't like to solder that much, uh, to solder here for you guys, maybe it's going to be complicated, so it's okay when you uh, just get here inside, and you just cut it, and then you just solder, let's say, the new uh, connector, which in, this uh, which in this case is this one here, okay? And you can also see here, when you just take a closer look, you got outside there, this is the first contact, and then in the middle, you have the second contact, okay? Here, deep inside, in the middle. The gold one is the second.
So um, before I go on here, I just wanted also to tell you that this surface here, um, I have just polished it a little bit with 600 sandpaper. And you can also take about 1000 sandpaper and it's now really shiny. So maybe, I don't know if you can see the difference. Let me just make the lights off. Yeah, I think yes. So here you can see this place right now. It's really shiny. And just look at, at this difference here. See? It's the, the structure, I think it calls like that. So the surface here um, looks not really that great as like here. So here it's really polished and really nice and sexy. Really smooth, like you can see also from the lights. See? You can see the lights. Look. On the other side, not. Because this one here is more lepid, like, I don't know, <laughs> uh, 140 sandpaper or something like this. But yeah, now I'm gonna just apply here a Thermal Grizzly um, Cryo Mode. And this will hold forever. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna close it all. Then we're gonna turn it back again and look at the cable management, because I have already done it. But I just wanted to do a quick video about this stuff here. And you can see also, so the cable goes here inside. Turn the lights on again for you guys. It goes under there, through the clip here, here, then it goes over there, here. Yeah, just get this all back like it was before. And it looks nice, we have a lot of space. Yeah, <laughs> nice one. All finished, um, I have just now prepared it all, just to test it all. And now we're going to see if the controller also going to connect without cable. So let's just fire it up. First time just doing that with you together. And let's see if all going to run good. It's blue and wait a bit. We have some display. Yeah, it has noticed that something went wrong. <laughs> of course. So let me not just get this in the tree pot. And then we're gonna take a look. So it's just uh, checking the HDD how it looks like. 26%, 27, 27. Yeah, nice one. Look the difference <laughs> between the pro. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so now it says to press the button. Okay, we are in, and now let's just press it once again here. Okay, the control is now just connected, let's give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> So, this was not able, this was not possible before. Now it's working like it should work. Best proof. <laughs> yeah guys, this was all for me. NSC in the place to be. I wish you the best. Hope you liked this video. Take care. Let me know if you would just have some questions. Wish you the best like I told. See you soon on my next video. Peace. That was me, NSC in the place to be. Bye bye. And see in the place to be and see.